there was a true technological innovation craze in England. It served as a haven for gifted inventors who made significant contributions to a variety of industries, most notably steam road transportation. Among these adept and passionate researchers was the hobbyist engineer William Henry James, who started a number of really fascinating investigations and tests in 1824. William Henry James, a gentleman of superior mechanical talents of Winston Green and Thavies Inn, Holborn. In the same year, he filed for patents on two devices that would be powered by two distinct cylinders, one for each driving wheel independently. Then, like many other innovators of the day, James sought a partner after patenting a high-pressure two-boiler once more. He designed a huge stagecoach for 15 passengers in partnership with Sir James Anderson. This design underwent numerous modifications between 1,826 and 1,828. On a rough road in Epping Forest, this car reached a speed of 12 to 15 miles per hour, 19 to 24 kilometers per hour. Despite one of the two boilers being out of commission due to an accident, the automobile managed to make a safe seven-mile return trip. This carriage, one of the most ideal designs of steam stagecoach of the era, was a James creation, meticulously constructed down to the last detail. It could have been made into a sturdy, nimble, and most importantly, profitable machine. Regretfully, James, like many researchers, was never satisfied with his work and put aside his diligence to construct a different vehicle in 1829 that featured four independently acting oval cylinders. But James's financial problems soon got the better of him, and he was forced to quit working. Lacking funding, he intermittently carried out his study and, in 1832, patented a three-speed gear shift operated by pedals. A system of sprockets and chains was used to operate this apparatus. That was the end of his discoveries.